Well, hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's quite echoey here, I haven't vlogged here before. Hello guys, how are you doing? Hope that you're well, hope that you missed me. I know that it's been a while since you last saw me, but I'm back right now. You are not gonna get rid of me right now. I'm joking, but I know that you missed me and I missed vlogging, so I kind of decided today to, to kind of get my camera and get back to vlogging and kind of explain you where I was and kind of give you a little life update. So I've set up a tripod there. I'm gonna explain you everything where I was, what has happened in the last two months I wanna say or something like that. And then I also wanna show, show you this new place because you've not seen this yet. This is literally my fresh new place that I moved in here, uh, I wanna say two weeks ago, something like that. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into this video, which is gonna be like a life update slash apartment tour or something like that let's call it like that something like I mean really I don't even know where should I start I know this has been a while since I've not uh, talked to, to you and I really feel bad about it because I had so many of you messaging me and asking me where I was what I'm doing with my life why I'm not on YouTube why I'm not on Instagram where I'm not you know online basically and I really appreciated that and I got back to each and uh, every one of you because I think it's been just so lovely to have all of you message me. So basically, initially I wasn't really planning to, to disappear like that. But then, obviously with the third lockdown, as everything sort of progressed, I feel like I also, I don't know, in a way I wanted to get away from everything and kind of focus on myself and do the things that I need to do with myself and sort of work on some things offline and I, it's been I mean it's been a hell of a few months I'm not gonna lie I mean because when I look back now I feel like a different person if, if I'm honest but in the same time I really feel lucky and happy that I'm at the end of it I mean for the most part I just feel like what really affected me was the the lockdown and winter and Accutane because I was taking Accutane on top of the lockdown so you can imagine state of my mind because it's just been yeah it's not been the brightest few months but in the same time I feel like it's been a couple of those growth months that you need to, to sort of overcome something and uh, in in all honesty I didn't really to, wanted to post any of that because I, I mean I don't know I just you know when you're not in the state of mind of doing anything and kind of getting up from the bed you don't really want to to be online and that's what happened to me because I feel like I, I don't know it's just I didn't really have much to talk about I mean the fashion was basically non-existent which is the whole purpose why I started the channel to talk about fashion you know and then if I was to talk about myself I didn't feel the best so I know that I don't know some people might not understand which is okay but in the same time I feel better because I didn't really feel myself like that so we are at the end of it and I want to be like completely transparent about it because I know that so many other people have gone through the same thing and like <laughs> I, I have the friends that say that they've they feel like they've gone through a tumble dryer in the last few months and I feel the same I feel like I've gone through the tumble dryer like without even realizing it you know so we are at almost June we are at, we are allowed to do certain things I'm in a new place I, I feel so lucky to to sort of be at the end of that whole situation and also to be in this lovely place that I'm in right now because it's just so it's so amazing and honestly it's been so lovely also what happened in the last month or so is that my mom has moved here to UK or actually uh, moved in with me so that has been really lovely and really helpful and I really just appreciate so much that she's with me right now because I mean it's not been the easiest process obviously for her to come because obviously of the restrictions of the enormous amounts of Covid tests that you have to take obviously of the the quarantine that you have to do as well so it's been hell of a process but we are at the end of it so it's been really amazing to have her here and i wish that uh, she was able to come even even sooner so so yeah uh, that has been my kind of life in the last two months or so and i just sort of feel really lucky to be able to to speak to you again because 
there were days that I didn't really feel like I'm, I don't know, like I ever want to like, I don't know, do the things that I did before. But without sounding too depressing, which I probably was, but without sounding too depressing, I felt really lucky to, to be able to, to speak to you again. And I also want to ask you how you're feeling right now, because I know that so many of you have been also affected and also sort of had that fatigue around everything. So how are you feeling? And please let me know in the comments or message me privately or whatever. I feel like uh, we really have some bond and so, like so many of you really messaged me and asked me how I was, what I'm doing, why I'm not online, which is just amazing. I'm, I'm some random guy that I am like online, you know, like I don't even, I don't know, I, I'm not even been online for that long and to have so many of you lovely people message me is just, I mean, I don't even know how, how I deserve that, but here I am basically. So that has been my life in the last sort of, I want to say two months, maybe three. Uh, so I kind of brought you up to speed in the last couple of minutes of, of this video. So so yeah, I also moved into a new place uh, because obviously when my mom came over here, we realized that we need more space and it just sort of made sense to move somewhere else. And I sort of decided it's probably better for me to move somewhere where I'll be able to sort of be more central, to be able to commute more once everything reopens. And I really wanted to live in this area for quite some time. So I'm really feel I really feel so much uh, happiness when I kind of wake up here and kind of I have to pinch myself that I live here because it is a flat. So I lived in the house before, and it wasn't like a too too big uh, of a space. So I, I now moved to the flat, or actually we moved into a flat, but it's much more central. There is so many things around this, this place. There is like so many parks, there is coffee shops, there are restaurants. Also, it's really well connected with everything. So you can travel from here to basically where, wherever you want. Uh, so that's, I mean, literally it's been my dream to move to this area for such a long time and I feel incredibly lucky to to be able to live here right now so we moved here about two weeks ago it's still quite echoey as you can probably hear because there isn't like much furniture or actually furnishings i want to say like the, the decorations are something that we miss the most because for the furniture part we do have quite a lot at the moment we did struggle when we first moved in we had to like live without a table and chairs for probably like dining table for probably 10 days maybe two weeks uh, because we had to like wait for the furniture to be delivered uh, even though that we ordered some of the stuff even before we moved here so it's like the good part of like furniture is here I feel I want to say like the the most essential things are here uh, but we obviously we are missing like some bits but not like some major bits but mostly like what what I want to do with the space is to like decorate it and also like buy some really nice Things, but I feel like we're gonna sort of buy that over the time because I find when I sort of go to the furnishing places and kind of the, the like interior uh, places I, I'm not like able to pick everything just at one place I tend to like buy like certain bits and bobs here and there and then like sort of make a kind of full collection or if I if you call it like the the, the decor you know yeah so that's why it's quite empty at the moment so like we have a furniture and those bits but like the the shelves and like sort of the curtains I'm missing in this room like some sort of art at the wall as well so there's quite a few things that we are missing but uh, that's why it's quite equi but at least the furniture is here which is obviously the most essential and it's also much bigger space than the previous one uh, in the previous one we literally had sofa this bed and like some other bits but not not the like table not like my mom didn't have her bed uh, as well up until like two or three days ago so so yeah everything is quite furnished so I want to give you a tour I haven't done the tour before so I'm not sure how this is gonna go or even where should I start should I start from this room or should I start from the entrance I'm not sure there's two rooms to show you uh, and also obviously the living room so yeah I want to give you a proper tour of everything what I really love about this place is the location and also the the storage it's amazing honestly so much storage there is like even in this bedroom there is this this uh, wardrobe which is massive it doesn't look 
as big from here but it, it's massive it has so much storage and it, we even bought like more storage for the, uh, for this room so so yeah it's uh, it's such a lovely space and it's not like the newest it's kind of a newer build but it's not like brand new so there's quite a few, uh, a few things that i would change but obviously uh, over the the time so so we will see how that goes but without further ado i'll try to give you a proper tour of this place i haven't done this before so bear with me uh, i'll try to explain everything what we've done what we changed so far and what i sort of want to change uh, also in the future so yeah uh, hope that you enjoyed this tour so as you come in this is sort of the the entrance it's quite sort of long because it, the the flat is sort of on that side so it's sort of isolated from the rest of the communal area which i actually quite like i mean it's quite uh, along this area and sort of narrow but it's also I like that it's sort of isolated from the rest of the the building I would say so we put this shoe cabinet here just for the sort of to break this uh, narrowness and so, sort of simplicity of the the place but I also want to add maybe a massive mirror here and maybe some pictures on the wall because at the moment it's just really stark and, and sort of white Ignore that box here because it's basically some some stuff that I ordered, so I need to get rid of that. So as you come here and move on to here this side, there's like that's where the sort of main living area starts. So it moves onto this side here. So on 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 this door here is just sort of the the storage area. So that's where we sort of keep our bits and bobs at the moment is just the hoover there uh, the vacuum cleaner as you would call it here in the UK and I don't know toilet paper and stuff like that but I think that we'll have to make some storage here and sort of some shelves maybe and potentially put the tumble dryer here because at the moment there isn't like a space for it so at the moment it's a little bit messy but we are looking into changing this this area in the future so that's the first cabinet there is another one on this side which is also another storage area so it's quite messy at the moment it has lots of bits and bobs that we didn't know where to put even like our christmas tree and like stuff like that so at the moment it's everything in here and it's probably like gonna stay like this as a storage area just for like random stuff but I think that I might just need to organize this even better. But bear in mind that we moved in here about two weeks ago or maybe less than that. So it's still quite quite sort of messy and, and lots of stuff are uh, missing to, to be put into the right place. So there is another wardrobe in this hallway because as you can see there is many many doors in this hallway which at first it sounded really weird and it looked really weird but I like how much, how much storage there is so we use this one for sort of the, the, the shoes that we don't know where to put as well as some sort of coats and, and bags and stuff like that so at the moment it's quite sort of messy uh, and maybe we will need to put another one of these for shoes but I do like that there is so much storage and, and you can leave so many things just that is not like sort of an, uh, the open and I don't know I just like that because I didn't really have that in the previous space so in the first room here as you can see this is the room that uh, you saw me first so it's quite big if you look at it from here it's just a little bit weird shape because as you can see it's quite sort of narrow in a way but also I don't know it has that bit there that is quite weird so we didn't really know what to do with the space at the first so we decided to put the bed there and the bedside tables on that side because in the end that looked like the only proper wall to use so we ended up putting it there it is quite hard to to go through this area but it's also i do like how it looks at the moment so it's probably going to stay like this to be fair on that side there uh, I have my office desk that I actually love that is in front of the, the window uh, it just looks I mean it doesn't look the best because I don't know uh, I want to change it and maybe potentially buy a bigger one 
or something that is of a different shape. So this is just from the one from the previous house. So it's there from the time being, but I might change it in the future. And obviously that's the window there. And I do really like working in front of the window, bedside tables. So it's quite simple and plain at the moment because there is no any decoration or anything like that. It's, this is the biggest wardrobe that you, we have. It's sort of a double wardrobe. So if I open it, you'll be able to tell. So it's a double wardrobe with quite a lot of storage. So it's not organized as you can tell at the moment. It's sort of everything is put just in the wardrobe, but we haven't order, organized anything because it didn't really, I don't know, we are not 100% sure what we want to do with this because it's still sort of, I don't know. I'm not sure if I want to have that shelf there because it takes away the, the, the hanging area that you have for coats and, and have shirts and everything else. So I'm not sure if I want to have that there or maybe you should put just some shelves at the, the bottom or something like that. So I'll maybe, I don't know, maybe I'll change this up and then organize everything. But I do like that there is sort of a lot more storage area and you can hang a lot more stuff than in the previous space. So I do like that. And we also added these lights, which is quite helpful because this is the only wardrobe that doesn't have any lights in it. And I mean, this is the, the one that you need it most in because it's because this is the one that is used for clothes. So basically we do need some lights uh, in there. And on this side is nothing basically at the moment. It's basically the stuff that I didn't decide where I'm going to put yet. And also some stuff that I need to return. So this is the mirror that we bought for a hallway, but it's too small. So I want to change it. And there are some other bits that I need to return because we ended up not needing them. So at the moment, I'm not really sure what to do with this area because it might be good for some storage or like some, I don't know, shelves or maybe like some drawers. I don't even know, but I'm not really sure what to do with it. So if you have any ideas, please let me know. I also, I'm thinking about putting some mirror there, like a big mirror some, somewhere around here, but I'm not really... 100% on that so if you have any ideas please let me know so that's the first bedroom the biggest sort of thing that I want to do with it is to to put some uh, maybe curtains or maybe like some some I don't know decoration and just change this and also the light because it's it's horrendous I hate it so it's it looks like this at the moment but it's gonna be changed and hopefully less echoey I also am thinking about adding some some chair or like something to sit on some bench or something like that you know like the, one of those for the bedroom but i know where to put that so if you have any ideas do let me know so that is the first bedroom uh, as you sort of move along this hallway on this side there is another one a bit smaller and that's the one that my mom uses at the moment so hopefully she won't mind uh, me showing you this bedroom so this is what it looks like at the moment it's quite simple and there isn't like sort of much uh, happening and there isn't much decoration because as I said we just moved in so it has a bed one bedside table because we were not sure it's, if it's gonna fit two but it actually does so we will need to get another one of those and also lights and I also need to buy some lights for our bedroom so we managed to hang uh, the curtains uh, as well and on this side, there is like a TV and the drawer situation. So it does need a sort of sitting area or maybe like some sort of bench in here or a mirror or something like that. So that's something to, to, to be put in uh, the room at later stage. So on this side uh, is the sort of main living area. So you have the kitchen over there the uh, desk and the uh, living room so sort of it's all one space so this is the kitchen uh, I do like the size of it it's quite big and it has a lot of cabinets which is something that I like I'm not too keen on the color of the cabinets but I do like how much storage it has so I'm happy about that at the moment so it has obviously uh, the place to cook in the, the oven and obviously the stove and so many cabinets which is something that I like. Uh, I have this old coffee machine that I want to change because it's the one from our 
old house and it's not it's kind of it makes quite a good coffee but it doesn't look amazing and it's also i feel like it's it's on its last legs because it's sort of sometimes it's making a mess so i want to change it we also bought this kettle and the matching toaster over there i really wanted those for quite some time so we ended up getting them for this kitchen and i think it looks quite quite good i still want to change some things here and like maybe buy some new new things like for that fruit bowl and like just some bits and, and things but I, I do quite like how it looks at the moment because it's quite sort of clean and as i said i want to change this coffee in the machine and it's not probably going to be be here when we buy a new one i have this sort of area here which we use as a pantry at the moment this is what it looks like but i want to change this to have like a coffee station or like something like with a small appliances section and i want to put the coffee machine here potentially so maybe like move this shelf a bit down and maybe like this one up depending on obviously the size of the coffee machine and maybe have it in this section if i can so i think that that's quite a good idea so we will see obviously if that will work out and i don't know depending on the obviously the type of the coffee machine that we get because for some of them you do need the water and i don't think obviously this cabinet doesn't have the water so we will see how that works out but i'm quite happy with this for the time being uh, obviously on this side is sort of the main living area and this is probably my favorite bit of furniture in the whole flat this is something that i wanted for such a long time and i ended up getting this dining desk and chairs they're all from west elm and i really wanted them for quite some time so it's a marble top uh, sort of dining four seater dining table with the chair so we ended up getting the whole set from the west elm it's actually not the set but we ended up getting the chairs as well so i do quite like how this looks at the moment i'm not sort of too keen on the carpet so i don't know what we're going to do about that but i do quite like how this looks and it's so comfortable and it's honestly the best quality chairs that i've ever had literally it's it's amazing i also maybe i'm thinking about putting some radiator cover on 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 that radiator there because i just think that it will tie the whole area a bit better and maybe like some big art at the wall just above that radiator so those are the sort of options but i as i said we are still in process of sort of deciding what we want to do and obviously getting them and also i feel like i don't really have time to do any of the stuff like that because it's just it's taking a lot of time to actually sort of get to this stage because when you get the furniture you have to uh, put it together and it's sort of a big big task so this is the main sort of living uh, area and like the sofa so we had this sofa from the previous place if you maybe remember maybe you don't it's a four-seater sofa from next i believe so we ended up keeping it for for this flat because it just sort of it looks nice it's also quite new i think we got it maybe a year ago or so something like that and i do quite like the the quality of it it's quite good and it wasn't cheap so we ended up keeping it and i don't know what we're gonna do with it if you're gonna keep it for longer or maybe get something else in the future i don't know but i do quite like how it looks at the moment because i don't know the quality and also it's also really comfortable so that's what sort of made us keep it and and yeah as i said we only have it for about a year so we ended up getting this sort of tv stand and that uh glass thingy over there from the ikea i believe so we only received that a couple of days ago and this is what it looks like it's still not dressed fully and there's lots of things that are missing to sort of tie the whole uh, area together but i'm quite happy with it because it's it's sort of i did, did wanted something a bit more smart and sort of nicer to go with the blue uh, sofa so i do quite like that and it also goes really nicely with the coffee table that we have so i do quite like it and also i think it's going to look much better when we get some sort of i don't know decoration and just everything because what we have at the moment is quite dark uh it's sort of black even so you just need something some some white details to it to be a bit more 
dressed and sort of nicer I would say but we will see what we are gonna do with it in the future and obviously what we end up uh, putting into it I also want to put some big art on this wall uh, but I'm just I haven't found anything that I like yet so we still have like so many frames from the previous house there so I'm not sure where those gonna go but we have them so we'll see what we're gonna do with them I'm also thinking about putting some carpet in this area like just below uh, the coffee table or maybe like below the whole section of this sort of seating area but I'm just not sure what we'll see what we're gonna do but it I think that the rug to sort of tie this area together as sort of one seating area and just kind of separate the rest from the rest of the room but we will see what we're gonna do and the last room that I haven't showed you is this one here it's the bathroom uh, the only bathroom that we have but it's quite a big one a much bigger one than what we had previously so if I show you from here this is what it looks like so we had to change quite a few things uh, in this bathroom since we moved in or actually before we moved in so we painted the walls in this quite dark gray color but I think that it looks a bit better with this because it used to be just a sort of white stark space which I hated to be honest so we painted it in this color and I think it looks a bit better and also I don't know a bit uh, cozier as well this is me this is sort of my outfit for today but you already seen me so yeah this is the sink nothing too special it's sort of a simple space but I feel like we made the best of it so the sink obviously the towel rail and this is sort of the dirty washing uh, thingy basket that I have to find the, the space for it somewhere else but at the moment it's here uh, this is the cabinet that we put for sort of I don't know some sort of skincare and stuff like that towels and obviously the bathtub is quite big and we added that shower sort of to to have a shower uh, rather than the bath because to be honest I don't really take baths so to, 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 to sort of make the best out of it so this is what it is uh, I think it looks okay for I don't know for what it was uh, and also we did it on the budget so I think it looks quite good at the moment and we'll probably keep it as it is I was thinking of maybe putting some picture on that wall there or maybe on this wall here and maybe changing that mirror over there but I don't know when we find some something that is uh, nicer than this uh, but I'm quite happy with it at the moment because yeah it was quite on a budget on what we did so this is the tour of my flat I hope that you enjoyed it as you can tell there is still lots of work to do I feel like the the biggest things that I want to do is sort of to, to put more decoration more art more sort of just final touches and I want to say that this has probably been finished to maybe 95% of the whole place maybe like 90 I'm not sure but there's still quite a few things to do and I want to share it with you so hopefully I made making the promise online that I'm gonna post uh, more often and uh, hopefully uh, we're gonna be able to, to sort of go out a bit more now that everything has reopened and sort of I'll be able to talk about fashion because uh, and everything else that I talk about because I think that now that everything has reopened uh, we're actually excited about things at least I am I really sort of feel like I I want to just enjoy life now and just wear all the stuff that I wasn't able to wear for such a long time so there is quite a lot of videos that I've planned and I want to film in the future and sort of different topics so I hope that you join me for that and I hope that you enjoyed this video of sort of life update and uh, the, the tour of my new flat so I hope to see you next week thank you so much for watching and I will see you on Sunday yeah I think that's my uh, upload days it's been a while <laughs>